Howdy guys, Michael here again from Guitargate.com and now it's time to learn the melody or the solo if you will if you're gonna take a lead over Oh My Sweet Carolina by Ryan Adams. Um, again, I love this song and for all you guys that are trying to mix up your playing out there, get out of the boxes, you know, play something more melodic, I really implore you to try to learn these vocal melodies on guitar and start improvising there and then build on it. Now this song in particular doesn't have a lead. Now in the live versions he plays a harmonica part but um, this again if you're playing this with your band uh, you want to stretch it out if you're just having fun with this at home learning these vocal parts learning these melodies are really going to help you grow as a guitar player. Now this song just to recap um, has capo on the third fret, so it sounds like D sharp or E flat. For the sake of this lesson, I'm going to be talking in intervals, um, not specific notes, because again, if you want to play it in D, you'd move it to the second fret. If you wanted to play it um, open, you know, in C, you'd play it open, right? So for this melody, it's all about the major scale. So I'm going to start. Here is my root, right? That is my my D sharp, right? But that's my root. So it's just major stuff. Landing on that five. key takeaways in there are that you know it's just a major scale thing you gotta follow the voice but the key things that really give it away is that over the five chord during the verses he's hitting the two which is the fifth of the five chord and over the, in the chorus right in the last part of the chorus when it goes to that five chord he's hitting the four which is the flat seven of the five chord so that makes that dominant 7-5 chord, which then needs to get resolved, and he resolves it by playing either a root or third of the tonic. That is the trick to this melody. So listen to it. Listen to the lyrics. See if you can figure out for yourself where it goes up and down, because it varies quite a lot. But the key things to remember, hit the second over the 5 chord in the verses, hit the fourth over the four chord in the verses, right? It's just for it's just for a touch there, right? It's just when he says, you know, for the first part, like it's on, it's on station and then pockets, right? For the verse, if you want to listen for it, I have it written down here. He hits the four over the four chord, so the root of the four chord on station and pockets, but then on, on he does carry me home at the end of the chorus on carry, he hits the four again, which is the flat seven of the five chord which resolves down a half step to the major third of your one chord. That's the trick to this melody. Try it, guys. I think you'll love it. And if you like this style lesson, please like, please uh, subscribe, tell your friends, and I hope you'll join me over at guitargate.com. See you guys soon.